how do you become less of a bitter person? And I know this is a complicated issue that would take a long time to, to go through, but I thought I could get this topic at least started with the discussion of what causes a lot of bitterness between people and how to get around that and an idea to think about. And I think the start of it is a lot of stuff around the way our society and culture works is that we have a lot of what I call pick me ism. And it starts throughout school and especially on sports teams, but it can also be in music too, art where you try out, not art, art is usually very welcoming to everyone, but there's art academies and getting into art schools and that kind of thing. But sports is much more competitive as a teenager and kids, they try out for a team and then they, they which is your way of saying, pick me, I'm, I'm nominating myself. And then, but then they say, well, you didn't make the cut. And so we're not picking you. And this, happens throughout I think almost all of life where you where you kind of nominate yourself for something and you want to be picked and along the way you will not be picked and the most common one of this is the job world where companies put out calls for employees saying we're hiring we're, we're so excited to be hiring even though a lot of times it's just to make the company look look good, like we're hiring people, we're just spending money. And and so it looks good, but so someone implies, and it's like, sorry, we, we want people, but we don't want you. <laughs> we weren't looking for you. you were, we were looking for, we're not even gonna tell you what we were looking for, you don't even know. And, and, and people will go through applying for all kinds of jobs and no one will pick them. For a long time eventually someone will pick them and it goes through you look at the world of dating and relationships pick me um kind of look looked like what i was looking for but not quite sorry and and then it, or or that you could people are in a relationship and someone is they get dumped or they get or you're at a job you get fired so so you could be picked and then then you're not picked <laughs> so there's many different phases of this sort of discarding process that happens and what what what's the the common default as a human is we have these these feelings and they get easily hurt and when you're not picked it's tempting to say that that this other people the the other party involved the team that didn't pick you the job the company that didn't pick you that they're going to be worse off because they didn't pick you and so that's where the bitterness i think really really settles in and that's what i would say is a bitter one angle of bitterness i'm sure there's many others but this is one that that i know about from just life experience and that I can relate to the most. And I would say the way to work through it is to understand that everything is in its perfect form. And I've talked about it before, and I, I do come back to this idea that it's a new definition or a different definition of perfect than what we're, we're used to, which is perfect, I, I bought the perfect car perfect for my needs, the perfect guitar, the perfect partner, everything I wanted in life is in this object. That's that's like a traditional definition of perfect. But what I'm more interested in is how, how the way things have happened and the way they've unfolded, that is their natural form. It is a form of destiny and it is exactly how it, it has to be. And, and this is very different than that other definition of perfect. And you have to accept that this is, this is perfection. What, like what the expression, this is a feature, not a bug. So whenever life kicks you into one direction or another, 
It's a feature. It's not a bug. Nothing was wrong. Now it's your job to accept that and work with it and, and enjoy it. And so in the example of the not being picked thing, rather than say these people are worse off without me, remember the default type of response and the, the bitter response is just accept that the, that they might be be better off without you. They might not be, but none of that even matters because you not being on that sports team is perfect. It is, it is exactly how things were meant to happen. And one of those examples would be if we are going to keep going with the sports team, that who became the coach that year? How did they become the coach? How long was that in the works that they became this person became the coach and that the coach didn't see the talent in you? So it was like way out of your control and it, it's like many layers up beyond beyond. So it is in its own way, it's perfect. It just it's happened. That's hence unfolding. And now you get to go and maybe play a different sport. I don't know how you respond to the, the situation. You find another team and and you hone like if you really are destined to keep playing this this sport, you're being being rejected or cut from a team is not the end of the career. It's just one redirection of everything. That's why they call rejection is 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 really a redirection, sending you down another area. So I think that's pretty much the the most of what I, I have to say on the issue is just to not carry this backpack around when things don't go your way. And another one would be a jacket. Wearing a jacket on a hot day is an example that I've used before. Like take the jacket off put it away. But when you wear the jacket on the hot day, it, it just it, 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 it slows you down. And it, it doesn't let you bring in what was really destined to come your way. And so this is one of the the traps of of living I've found is that you can get sucked into the details of what's happened. And in this case that we've been going through, this is one of many types of experiences that happens in life, which is how we deal with um, sort of the application process of things and the um, the sorting process is they, um, yeah, along the way, there's a lot of this rejection or acceptance and vice versa things go in they they come and go opportunities um you, you know they don't always happen right when you you need them you have to be patient and so um always look for ways to lighten the load of that of those bumps so that you can in the long term have a more steady and consistent way of living so that you're not very jumpy every time something has uh, not gone in your favor. Okay, that's it.